going to do this quickly. It's February 15th. Back door is not out. It's finished. So I'm going to quickly break it down. If this is a good video, I'll upload it on my channel when back door is out. All good. All right. So this is the intro. You've heard it probably. It's this. This is just the piano chord MIDI that I wrote for the track with an insane amount of processing. And I resampled it because I didn't want to have that much processing going on. That is the wrong pattern. There's a few, there's, there's like, uh, I don't know how many of these are used, but there's about, there's about 10 chord patterns in the track total, which is a lot. Not all of them were used. Some of them are different sounds. Some of them are variations on the chords. Oh, this is it. Yeah, so this is what the processing is. So it's the labs. This one, it was in Are You Dumb as well. And it's in about 8 million other tracks on Bloom. So get used to it. Rare groove piano. It's rare, but it's not that rare on the album because it's in so many other tracks. Uh, we've got a fat amount of Kill the Hearts gain going on. Tape stop, that does something somewhere. EQ, EQ, EQ. <laughs> That's probably what that oh, Jesus Christ. All right, okay. That makes sense. So without it, it's, that without it, it's normal. We just did that. And what it did have on it was Valhalla Frequency Echo. I don't know what this does, but it sounds cool. Some settings were probably a bit different when I resampled it. But, you know, you can hear how that's the same thing, right? That's a lot of stereo and, like, weird tonality to the thing. And then this is the same thing, but pitched down 24, <laughs> two octaves. And there's reverb and delay on it. Um, more EQ. Yeah, sounds very evil. Now we're going to get on to the... Um, the backdoor fucked up shit, which is the only thing I could think of to call it, because, well, I mean, yeah. So this is your boy, me, singing from the chorus. Maybe I'll drop the acapella to this, I don't know. Drop stamps. Need a backdoor, find my way out. Jeez. Um, that, so I resampled that. Here is what I did to it. I left in the background noise. And I just cooked it. Jesus Christ. I put that shit in the microwave with with metal tinfoil on it. But it, the audio equivalent. And then we turned it down 20 decibels because... Yeah. Then, this is important. M Charm Verb, sick reverb. Been using only this for like... Four months or something it's fucking i love it it's so good uh because with free reverb if you do the same thing let's just do a demonstration of how i'm how good m charm verb is real quick if i just take a random sound uh what's actually a good way to demonstrate i don't know clap yeah so here's a random clap we've got 81 <laughs> mix of tracks geez. um all right charm verb Right, hang on, wait. Fruity reverb. Right. If we what this is the kind of thing I like to do a lot with reverb, and I need a reverb that can do it well. Low cut, high, decay, very low, wet, high, dry, low. And then let's do that with M charm verb. Size don't change, shall we? Jeez, the clap was a bad example, you know. In most cases, it sounds so much better. The clap was a shit example. It doesn't sound better. They both sound awful. My bad. Just get it for yourself. Try it for yourself. It's free. Um, so that is important on this, because without it...
equally sick, but I wanted it to be less prominent. Um. I just looped the background noise. And I, I love this effect so much that I wanted another background element with that effect on it. So all I did... Recorded myself fucking mani maniacally laughing like the fucking Joker. Put it in the same mixer track. And just put it in the background. I don't know why. Don't ask me personal questions. I just I just did. Um, Jesus Christ. That is on the same mix of tracks. So basically, almost everything in the intro is distorted violently. This is um the, the same acapella. It's just vocoded with a free vocoder and a citrus preset. Sounds nice. Sounds dumb, which I said in the name of the file, but it sounds nice. So yeah, there you go. Now we get onto this. Let me just check if I'm recording. Sick. This is the next bit. Kick. Quite a nice kick. It's not too clicky, not too transient. It's quite deep. This is the snare from the drop. Which I'm pretty sure is just. Oh god. Is it this? No. Is it. That's a different sample. Uh, oh, is this? No, that's a different thing, my bad. Uh, where is the, the snare? That's a different one. Okay, there we go. So that's from early on. Um, so here's a hi hat that is used. Here is a oh this. Yeah, yeah, it's that. I think it's like I think you do like this. Yeah, it was like that, and then I did it slightly. I cut out the low end. Okay, that makes sense. So then that pre shift nicely into kick. Uh, very, very simple, but very effective in the track, as you as you can hear. Right. So this is in the drop. Um, not that. This is in fact, um, this, which is pitched up horrendously. My voice is not actually that high pitched. I promise you. Uh. This is from me from like April 2022, I think, sometime around then, maybe even earlier. Could even have been like late 2021. Yeah, I don't pay taxes. Foxmink just found that. I don't remember if I sent it in a dis in a public Discord, but Foxmink, right, shout out Foxmink, found it, used this in a song. Um, and I was like, yo, how do you get that? He said, I found it, I found the sample. So I took the, the yeah for this song, so I kind of like it. And it's pitched up a lot but the format is down about the same amount so it creates a weird effect like so wait hang on this is the um this is it if the pitch was just up yeah then this is it if the the formats down and then we've turned the pitch up yeah not entirely necessary just cool this is another thing with way too much fruity wave shaper on it two jesus christ two why did i need two it literally does nothing. What is wrong with me? So I boosted this fundamental. This is my voice, by the way. Pitched. Again. Yeah. And then there's this. This is a bass noise. Not much done to this. It just exists. I actually know quite a lot done to it. Why is there so much fucking wave shaper in this FLP, bro? Oh my god. Um white noise. So it's a do 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 um which is a 
yeah, and then the it's the yeah, and then the this layered with this, and then the kick, and then it becomes a lot more normal after that. You get me? Oh, there's kind of a rule in this track that on the first clap of all of the sections, this must play under the clap. It happens in the drop too, just because. Absolutely massively fat, obese, re-space. <laughs> Little bit of sub. Um, this is a synth. Big up, vital, I think it is. Yeah, so it's um two saw waves. One's got the vocoder on it. I've got my MIDI keyboard in. One sec. Dun 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 dun. dun. Quick 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 solo. Play. The note D is not working. Uh, the sensitivity of my MIDI keyboard is not being nice to me, but... Yep, that's literally just... Cello. That's from Flex. And it's got vinyl with the warp at like 50%, so it creates that weird, like, wiggly pitch bend. Without it. Bit more boring. It's got the fruity delay bank, healthy amount, and reverb. Yeah, just, you know, reminding you what the melody of the song is, as if you didn't hear it enough. Oh, that is in there, by the way. I'll get onto this when we get to the drop because it's in there a lot. This is kind of a hat. This is the snare. This is the same thing. Dumbvox comes back in. Reese gets loud. Uh, then this riser comes. There's a fill. That's quite cool. It's just toms. And then, start this section. Are oh, we recording, by the way? Yes. Um, silence. Except for background noise from the piano, which I just left in. I don't even know why that's there. I think it's just some sort of... I think it's because I left isotope vinyl running on an export, and then so it just created an almost infinite, like, loop of vinyl noise without because i forgot to turn it off and it exported when i consolidated the sign i was like oh okay give me that i kept it and it's just there because background noise good we like we like not empty soundscapes but this is empty Need a back door, find my way out. oh i never turned off the thing Need a back door. oh bad okay Need a back door, so there's the vocal. Now there's a little bit of a, a discussion about the vocal in this track. There's originally more vocals. They all sounded shit except this. Oh my bad. Need a back door, find my way out. So originally there was more vocals. They all sounded complete ass. And I was like, I don't want the vocals. But then I realised that this one's nice, and <laughs> I don't know, it says the song name, so I can keep it, I guess. And, uh, yeah, it's nice, it fits, and most of the stuff in the track is based around this vocal. So let me, let me demonstrate to you how I did this. Need a back door, find my way out. So this is consolidated, obviously, but here's the original, um, thing. This was the recording. Need a, need a back door. Yeah, back door. 
obviously, I this is I was just I I whenever I record vocals, I make that shit up off the top of my head. Like I might have a very basic melody in my head, and then I'll just record that. And then I'll since I'm already recording, I'll just start singing other stuff in case it works. That's how I got the main vocal drop for another track in the album is just leaving it running and just humming. So yeah, that's one of my favorite tracks. So good things sometimes happen. In this case, they didn't. First try was the only one I used. Uh. I'm going to do something very... Pa Actually, no, no. Need a back door. Need a back door. That, it sounds fine. Honestly, on this track, it sounds good without auto-tune. Back door. Obviously, when I do something stupid like this is when I realised I messed up. Back door. Back. Back door. Never used any of them. They're all shit. This is the only one. Need a back door. Back door. Then, reverb. Oh, the auto tune's uh, turned off, by the way, because it automates it on. Because I only used auto tune for one of the bits in one of the vocal. I don't know when some of it, some of the vocals in this track are not auto tuned, which I'm very happy with. But I think it's kind of luck that it, it sounded good. <laughs> Need a back door. So that is the main one. It's just there, and then here's the backing one. Back door. It's stereo because of the back door back. uh i put stereo stuff on it can't be asked to find this is in the background this is the only other bit I originally wrote a different set of chords that are similar to this. Actually, let me just quickly skip to the end of the track. This is the original chords I wrote for this track. Dun 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 dun. So I was like, well, that was actually originally written for a different track, which I never used them for. Which is the track still on the album. I just never used the chords. Um, I used different chords. So I was like, you know, I love them chords. They're fucking sick. Let me use them for something else. And then a couple, like a week and a half later, I recorded this vocal line. I was like, hang on a second. I got them chords. So I put them in. I changed them. So they're a bit less. They're a bit, they, they're, they're a bit more slow. And they like, 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 it's just duh, duh. Uh, so it, it goes with the melody a bit nicer without clashing too much and I put the melody on top which is literally just yeah that's nothing mental going on there it's just all about like the, the rhythm I guess that's literally this whole section it's just all that then it has this melody gets backed up by our friend the cello i really like the cello it's a nice thing in the track before it gets too mental here's this thing again i will show that soon but first we're gonna go with the build up this is the build up i'm not even gonna show most of the stuff in the build up because it's all in the drop anyway but what, what's interesting in the build up i don't know snare And another snare. Oh, wait, there's automations. Okay, so there's a build up drum. We will establish that. We got some risers going on. And as always in every Hagsaw track, basically, before the drop, we're getting, um, we're losing a bit of low end, just so it stops being as loud. We're losing a bit of volume, same reason. And we're losing a bit of step, we're losing the stereo. We get the mono, it gets high passed and it gets quieter. 
dynamics when your drop comes and it's none of those things then it makes it it feel louder when you don't actually need to make it a thousand times louder science right this thing and that's a cymax synth shot oh yeah i want to apologize for the absolute catastrophic amount of cymatic samples you're seeing in this project file by the way <laughs> i'm not basic i promise i'm not trapped in 2016 i promise they just work and I edit with them. I don't just put raw cymatic samples in my projects, I promise you. So this is, um... Guess what it is. Exactly! It's the fucking wave shaper thing again. But I put the whole... I put the backdoor dumb vox into it. And then there's some chops of it, so there's this. And there's this one. Which, this one's kind of mental. Um, and then, yeah, these are all just placed in the drop nicely to satisfy the listeners' eardrums if they like loud things. So, so this is the find my way out phrase, but very fucked up. Find a way out. So that's way out, but fucked up. Alright, here's the drop. Um, you know... Listen to the song before you watch this video, obviously. Drums, alright, same kick pan. Okay. Same snare, showed earlier. Got some toms in there for rhythm. And then we get this hi hat on all the kicks. The yes samples at the start of the drop. Then we get some hi hats, but chop, so it's just. Sub bass, very simple. It's just sine wave, a lot of distortion, made louder. Uh, made a lot louder. Boosted that harmonic for some fucking reason. Cut out most of the high end. And yeah, it's just all sounded very, very nice. I didn't do the pre-drop with this, by the way. Oh, I didn't, know it, but there's a sub-drop. Uh, and then there's Tom. Uh, right, here's the stab. That's a uh, saw wave and white noise distorted together with the low end cut out. This is a synth. Reverb automation basically keeps the sound like chopped. And then on that second chop, there's this nice retro synth sound, vintage synth sound, sort of like, an, an, I was going to say anabolic, I meant analog. Nice. Um, right, here is the three, the holy trinity, the three big boys of the track. So you've got um, the, the basses. This little guy, hopelessly OTT'd to hell. Oh, in the serum though. It's a saw wave. It's just a saw wave. Bypassed. A lot of OTT. A little bit of white noise. For flavouring. What's this do? What the fuck was I doing here? Jesus. Was I FMing from B? Maybe? don't think so, I don't remember doing that. Alright, a lot of OT. So here we have um the other guys. That is horrendous, but we like bad things here. We forgive it. A lot of that scooped out. High passed again, because obviously with low end. A lot of low not as much low end as I thought there'd be. This is a flex. Um What's it called? Bass guitar. But we wave shape. Oh, look, wave shape. Yeah, exactly. So shocking, isn't it? And then we did gate, because otherwise there's a lot of this. Fuck, wait. Some leftover sound effects, which we like random sounds, but not when I can't control them. So I've got to control them. And then here is the, the big one. This is a siphonous synth wave. 
uh, with the same sort of processing. I was exactly it's the same channel. All right, same stuff. Uh, here's the thing, which plays on the clap, and then here's another thing. That's just for for noise. This is already already showed that. Already showed this, which I showed this whole like this like uh, that bit is in the intro, but everything else after here. This lead is beautiful, man. This lead is so crud. It's so. Hold up, hold up. Oh, that sounds so good. So this is. Let me show you. It's just stretch pro. We put the format down four hundred cents. This is fine, but I chopped it and like looped that little bit there. And then on it, we've got. EQ to cut out the F. Otherwise, that shit is painful. Um, then we got. Reverb, which I don't think I ever use. Then we've got. <laughs> All pass phase. Oh, it's just dispersor but free. It's literally just dispersor but free. Why would you buy dispersor? All pass phase. Get that. Without it, less goopy. Then we got phaser. Not a massive phaser guy, but yeah, it's automated, so it sounds like this. The lead is the hacksaw lead. I use this so much. Literally, just saw wave. You don't even need the other stuff. Uh, then you get Synfold, put it around there. That was beautiful. See, Hacksaw lead. Ocelot, use that. Um, must be fucking Moog City 2021 cut. Remember that shit? Seller definitely does. Love you, Alec. Um, <laughs> Moog City, we use that. Other songs tried to use it, they never really came out, but it's been in a lot of demos. I use this for some sound in the sink. Oh, yeah, this is I Don't Pay Taxes. It sounds like I don't pay that, but when you've got other stuff going. This sounds more random, which is nice. Then the hi-hats are doing hi-hat things. Nice, just rhythm. Rhythm comes in. Uh, this. This plays, but not chopped up, which is a bit nice. It makes the rhythm flow a bit more. Here's what's going on with the vocal over here. My way out. I like to bring in the, the unprocessed vocal a lot more like towards the next part of the drop. Alright, the fun part. <laughs> this vocal, bro. I can't even explain what I did. Well, actually, okay, here's what I did. Uh, different FLP, by the way. Don't know why. I just took it into a different FLP to make that sound. Um, but it's 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 vocoded to a really low saw wave. Saw wave like octave like one, octave zero maybe. And an ungodly amount of bit crusher there with the bit turn bits turned very low. This sound is very. It's very complicated. Just kidding. Filter. And distortion. That's it. This is nice. The absolutely fucking massive clap. Just. That is, that's a painful slap. If you get hit with this slap. 
you will be feeling that eight months later. That is, that is, a, that is a violent slap sound. And it's got the reverb as well, so it's like the, it's like the Falcon Punch, you know? The final smash of claps, Jesus Christ, that's a, that's a lame clap. And then it gets a bit more heated up. No. Instead of doing the constant, um, we change it up a little bit and bring in the, the imposter, you know? Among us. Then there's the, um, Oh my, nothing else. Oh yeah, this. I, I beg someone like go through this track and find how many different ways the melody is played. Because you've got the lead, you've got like the the piano, and then you've got then you've got the cello, and then you've got fucking shit like this. It's still. It's still du, 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 just so different, <laughs> but it's still there. That's what that's how music works. This is a sound. Um, sine wave, coarse pitch, down sample. That's it. More, more, you know, quick one, two. This is what it sounds like if someone tries to run up on me. You know, that's, that's what they'll be hearing. All right, this kick's back, different one. You remember the one from the intro. Another kick. This is, in fact, a hi-hat. I just pitched it down. It's an acoustic hi-hat from an acoustic drum. I pitched it down a lot. I love how this section sounds. Right, here we go. Here is the drum loop unedited. Oh wait, I never even edited it. It just sounds like that. Ah uh, yeah, I just cut out the low end and it, it becomes a whole new man. What shaving can do to a man. That's um that's from the fucked up shit in the intro. 30 minutes, Jesus Christ, this long ass video. I made that in a really old FLP. Um, like, like I made this like three months before I started Backdoor and I just took it. That's all just like being resampled about a hundred times. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Shut up. This is an 808. Um with a transient shape, oh Jesus Christ. That's to make the the kick more violent, I guess. Does nothing, but don't listen to don't listen to the media. When they're trying to discredit Haxel. That's another AOA. This is a this is a hi hat. It's got some of them stretch artifacts. This is quite nice. Du -du -du. Um. Yeah, it's just mad, mad stuff. Alright, here's a different slap. That sounds a bit less like a like a slap. Sounds a bit more like you know everyone clapping, applauding Pax or after the, the live concert performance. Get me? I'll be world famous. And that's what I'll be hearing now. And then the sub goes up. That is sick. Big up Charlie W. Charlie told me to do that in a VC. That's I think the one piece of advice he gave me on the track. You should do that with the sub, and I did. So, thank you, Charlie.
Um, so this is basically a collab because he did one thing. And that's just basically, I should have put his name in the title, got more views. Next single off the album, this video will come out in March. It will be soon after that. Next single from the album is the actual Charlie collab. It's a good ass song. I'm going to be fully honest with you. It's a nice piece of electronic music. You will enjoy it if you enjoy Backdoor. So please don't forget that's coming soon. <laughs> This is all stuff you've already heard, except for what is that? Is it this? Yeah. Yeah, just random. Right. Yeah. Um. Oh, this is painful. Uh, one sec. Just a lead, just a serum instance. It's a basic shapes triangle with a lot of pitch bend, like a horrific amount of pitch bend. Need a back door, <laughs> find my way out. Then we go to the next, um, next drop. Door, find my way out. Way out. That's a tom and a snare, that's another tom. Alright. This, okay. So here is the, uh, the big man. I did this with an EQ. That's all you need to know. And I barely put anything else over it. I just let it like for a whole quarter note, which is kind of rare because this track's got so much like choppy stuff. But letting something play on its own for an entire quarter note this much is actually rare in this track. So the fact that I did that with the, the just the massive slap sound effect, you don't want to get hit with that. Uh, then there's this little zappy sort of clicky kick, which there aren't any clicky kicks in this track except for this one. So that that's a bit of a different. White noise. And then we get into this, this sound. That's what a sub behind it, by the way. Alright, so this is, um, how we're doing this. Right. Uh, saw wave, down two octaves. Detune to uh, unison to 16, not a lot of detune, but then yeah, and I did this with the um, right, I'll break it down one sec, and I do this with the resonance, massive amount of resonance on the filter, and then distortion. I don't actually remember what I had on compressor, and then the combs filter. And then the M charm verb does this. Like I said earlier in the track. Turn the volume up. No low end for you. There we go. That's how we do that. And then there's a sub under it. Which has a lot of movement in the pitch. Which creates that sort of. Whoa. Sound. Right. Here's what this sounds like. It's sort of a less mental, it's a more mental but less choppy version of drop one. But then in the background we got this beautiful. Emotional, you know, I'm crying just listening to this. Which is just the chords. Little Lavender Town cover for you guys if you like Pokemon. That's a saw wave, pulse wave even. Oh, fucked up shit is playing in the background of this drop. I just wanted this to just be all out like noise. I kind of like it. Go. Wait, 
Wait, is that in the first roll? Oh, it is my man. I forgot to say. Yeah, that's a vocal. It's in Glass City, which is really old now, but I love that song, so I stole it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot I spammed it so much. That's the kick pan changes. Sounds good. This was originally in the intro. Sounds good. I think I just recorded that. I don't think I. Yeah, I just recorded it on its own because I never. I just thought like. I said, I, I made like the most loudest distorted thing in the project. I don't remember what it was. And I just said to myself, yeah, that sounds good. And I was like, oh, I should put that in the song. <laughs> sounds good. And then the, the fucked up shit comes back really loud. And then. Sounds good. Into this. This is the outro. The outro literally just final crackle. Noise. Uh, and the vocal. In a back door, fine. And then the chords are playing on this lovely mallet sound. That's actually literally what it's called, lovely mallet. And I made sure to use a lot of strum on the chords, so you get that. If you play all the notes at the same time. Yo, shit, wait. All the notes at the same time, the chords you get. But if you do it like, you get a nice like plucky sound. I love mallets. I love bells so much. In the back door, find my way out. Back door. And then like I showed up the earlier in the tutorial. Oh. These are the chords I initially wrote. This is the end of the track. Find my way out. That's actually okay. Hang on. Hang on. I added that about 20 minutes before I started recording. So you're about to witness me actually finish the track. It's got to be a bit quieter. Find my way out. Yeah. This is how I found this in the, uh, in the recording file. Yeah. That's me getting excited. And clicking stop recording. You can hear the mouse click. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, after I recorded the vocal for it. Okay. Okay. That's the breakdown. Hope you liked it. I love this track. I had the idea for a song called Backdoor with the same vocal. Must have been seven months before I started the song. And I was like, that's got to go on Bloom. Bloom was a very early idea. But it's changed so much. You know, the album's coming out in... um. When I'm recording this, the album's coming out of soon like i can't i don't think i can say still but uh <laughs> it's coming out it's coming out in a in a, in a short period of, it's it, before summer so i'm so fucking happy with how that shit's sounding right now i just want to say february me album's still very work in progress you know there's still a lot to do but like i can hit listen go listen to most of the songs right now if i wanted to and i do almost every day it's so good man and this is one of them songs where I, I, it's gone through maybe five different, totally different overhauls of the entire tr track idea, but it's it's kept the sort of values of, it's actually not, it's gone completely different. The original idea is, Backdoor is the concept of track. It's originally when I would like be in a situation where I, I mean, I, I don't, hum but i like imagine music to myself a lot of the time when i'm not using my brain for anything it just does that make completely made up songs and i m stuck to this one there's this one song that i would repeat in my head always whenever i'd be in a situation where like i'm not feeling like, overwhelmed or stressed or just, i don't know like, i just want to you know shut off the outside world this is less of a problem to me now, but it used to be when I when I was thinking of this track. But it's a less of a problem to me now. But in situations like that, I would always sort of think to myself of a, a mid-tempo track that was original. I never, I tried to write it out in FL so many times, never worked. Fuck, I just... And, okay. 
I just disconnected my headphones by accident. But I would imagine it's so... I never actually got it in DFL, but I always imagined, like, a sort of calm... Not calm, but, like, sort of neutral... I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Neutral. Like, the emotion of the track was always very neutral. It was never, like, imagining sad music or imagining loud music to block out other people. It was always just imagining very normal, sort of, not even calming, just normal music normal sort of like basic unemotional just standard mid-tempo synth music i was like one eight bar section i was like i gotta make this a song i gotta make that one of the singles of blooms is right seems this is important if this is such a weird way to come up with a track that this is an important track so i gotta make this i changed it about five times since then the original idea never came out but this is this works equally well because it's just noise and that's what it was this track is just noise and the original idea was a track for the track was came from something that I would use to 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 block out noise. <laughs> and this is a shit reason, but I still like it. All right, and fuck you. So I I did it. I made I made backdoor, and by the time you're watching this video, if I upload it, it should be reaching you. If if it, anyone even watches this video, it's fifty minutes. I'm sorry, but if it reaches your eardrums then i've done it i've won you know are you dumb is out now love that track i because i always had the idea that the first single should be something insane and shocking and you know do something really stupid and like unexpected and it had that you know listen to the track it does single two is something i was imagining for ages as well single three is also something i was imagining for ages uh and what i had to do is dm charlie w and he turned out he was like he was down so we got the collab in Let's fucking go. The f that's a pretty much perfect loadout for the singles. And then the rest of the album, you know, you got side A and you got side B. I don't know I don't know if they're gonna release at the same time, right? I'm pre I'm like ninety percent sure they're gonna release on the same day. But they're diff they're different to me. I don't know if they're different <laughs> enough, really, but they're different to me and I like them both equally. They're like it's like picking a favourite child, you can't do it. So this album's fucking good. Run over. Thank you for watching Stream Backdoor. Love you. Goodbye.